So, um, a review of day one. Um, obviously, I can only review the stuff that I've seen. I worked today on both sessions of Ronnie O'Sullivan's match uh, this morning and tonight. Um, this morning's session was, um, you know, pretty pretty poor, really standard. I think Ronnie pretty much cruised through the first section. Um, it wasn't put under any pressure. Um, Mark Joyce didn't settle at all. Uh, didn't look comfortable at the crucible. Um, and yeah, but I mean, tremendous finish by Ronnie tonight. I think the ready potted at 8-4 to get on the pink, um, kind of switched on a light and three that 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 allowed him to, to do the, the three centuries in a row. Um, so he finished the match tremendously well. Uh, I think I said in commentary that um, the the seeds, I think, getting the, getting the first round you know, under the belt is the most important thing. And if you can play well, it's a bonus. And I think certainly the way Ronnie finished those last three frames will um, certainly give him great confidence going forward um, to the second match. He's got a few days off now, which is um, which is always nice. The, the bonus of playing the first day and getting it over and done with is that you can sort of chill out for five or six days and watch everyone sweat it out um, in their first round matches. Um, but yeah, he was excellent in the last three frames. Um, the other matches I didn't see a lot of. I think Neil Robertson was quite impressive. I think David Gilbert apparently tonight made three centuries, was impressive. Um, but yeah, um, table looked a bit tricky, especially this morning. Um, looked quite the pockets looked quite tight to me. There was a red I think in the second or third frame Ronnie played along the cushion, which I thought was in. Um, it didn't go in. So um, if the tables are going to be playing tight then possibly less centuries this year than than any other um ronnie made up i think a 137 tonight which i said in commentary uh would definitely not be the highest break but apparently the qualifying breaks count and someone made a 142 uh, mr folds reliably informed me that i'd made a mistake so um so yeah, it didn't used to be that that way. I don't think. I'm sure it used to be separate the qualifying rounds to the the, the TV stages, but um, we'll see anyway. But whatever, I don't think even one four two will stay. I think um, there's every chance there'll be a one four seven. The Crucible, obviously, seventeen days, long frame matches, more frames. Um, there's always a chance. Um, but yeah, generally, I think Ronnie will be happy. He's got through that match um, pretty comfortably, and and that's all you can ask really. In, in the first rounds um, but yeah tomorrow um, I'm commentating on John Higgins and Tian Ping Fei in the afternoon and in the studio tomorrow night but um, I'm going to try and do a review every night of, of what I've seen today and then, um, and yeah uh, Ronnie at times looked almost disinterested in, in his seat but um as I say, that one shot, he's such an inspirational player that one shot can just trigger um, a feeling. And I say that one red, he floated in and then from then on, it was it was uh, the last three frames were, were, were beautiful, really. Um, but yeah, it's an uh, interesting start to the first day of the championship. Uh, it was great to have crowds in again, no clapping machines. We had actual people clapping, good shots, which was good to see. And... Um, Hopefully things go well and, and, and the crowds will increase as the tournament goes on. Um, but uh, yeah, great to be back at the Crucible. And as as far as just commentating goes, um, it was nice to be... Last year we did it remotely from Stockley Park. So this year, um, being in the commentary box, because we're so close to the table, we've got the best view. Um, it's just great to look out in that arena and, 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 and watch the play. Um, yeah, so looking forward to another interesting day tomorrow let's see what you're going to do if you get seventh world title i'm going to congratulate him actually uh, i'm not going to lie i won't be happy um it's a record that i obviously i hold dearly but um if he does equal it then obviously i'll be i'll be the first to say uh, congratulations and what um what better player actually to um to equal the record Let's see any questions. Got 182 of you live online. 
Mark Selby chances. Uh, not sure. Not sure. I think um, I think Mark need, possibly needs players, certain players to go out. I don't think Mark Selby can beat uh, O'Sullivan. Although, you know, people say straight away, well, he, he was almost going to beat him last year in the semi-final, but he needs to play at his best. I think Judd Trump, I still think Judd Trump will win this. So if Selby plays him, I don't think he'll beat Judd Trump. But um, he's certainly in there with a chance. Sir, I'm having anxiety and I shake too much on the shot. Please help. Um, breathe. Why was Hazel away? Hazel lives in New Zealand, so it was obviously difficult um, getting here. Trump or Ronnie, who do you think will win? I think Trump. Uh, assess Dave Gilbert's performance tonight. Unfortunately, I wasn't um, watching that match tonight. It wasn't on that match, so I didn't see, but apparently played very well. Um, three centuries, which is impressive because first rounds for the seeds are always pretty tricky. You just want to get the, you want to get the victory. It's nice to play well, but um, so so that was obviously a great performance. I think uh, Mark Williams MBE just said when are we playing golf. I don't play with cheats. Favourite cigar. I actually just had a Monte Cristo number two outside and it was absolutely freezing. Cigar was good though. Who do you want to win this year? I really I really don't mind. I've got... I, I, th I sneak a suspicion Mark White might actually do well this year. If he's watching, he'll probably be laughing. But... um. Oh, he's just put a finger up to me. That was nice. Good evening, Mark. You should be in bed, getting ready. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and do a little review every night of um, what I've seen that day and uh, give it to you here. And uh, I was hoping to possibly show my shot of the day, but I'm not allowed to do that, unfortunately. Um, but I think the shot of the day was that red that Ronnie potted at 8-4. Beautiful shot. But uh, yeah, I'll be on here tomorrow night give you my review of the day so good night folks enjoy day two tomorrow of the world snooker championship happy to be back at the crucible good night guys <laughs>